Welcome back to this DC Universe Online Let's Play. Your Sambo, and joining us as always is Seraphis, our black and red leather clad villainess. And you'll remember last episode we were in the Metropolis Memorial Hospital and we fought with Supergirl, and that was a pretty epic battle, lots of fun. And of course, we freed uh, Dr. Psycho at the same time. Time to have a look now at our quest journal. And in fact, look at that, right up the top there, we've got one in the Tomorrow District because we are still in Metropolis. We're not in Gotham anymore, Dorothy. Um, we've got one here, Gigantic Promises, rather, and yes, I thought so. It's actually the CSA Beastie Morph slash Wonder Woman questline. Free CSA's Beastie Morphs from Wonder Woman's Amazons in the Tomorrow District. Uh, we'll absolutely activate that one because it's around level 12 and we're level 15. And we need to clear that one out because, of course, that is in itself a storyline that we need to do. Um, another thing I've just noticed is we've got some mail. So while we're here, we should probably check our mailbox. Let's see if I can get to... Where am I? Oh, I'm going completely the wrong direction. And suffering a little bit of lag again. Right, where are we? So easy to get myself lost around here. There we go. Back on track. Right, let's see who's sending us some mail, shall we? Lex Luthor. Interesting. Got an attachment there. These innocents at Metro General have contributed knowledge for the greater good. You and I, as evolved moral beings, you're yeah, right, understand the necessity of these experiments. Your dedication to scientific progress in gathering these samples is admirable. Now, we've got something there. I don't actually know what that is. So let's have a look. It's a power choker, so it's a neck. And what's it going to give us? Four extra power, two extra precision, and less nine might. Yeah, you know what? Actually, I don't think we'd really want to wear that one. Uh, it was a little bit low level, that quest line, so that's understandable. But we'll keep what we've got for the moment. And let's head outside into Metropolis, get over to where CSA and Wonder Woman are. Um, and once again, starting hopefully a new quest line there which will hopefully end in a nice story instance and of course another motion comic which are some of my favorite parts of the game i also was looking through the quest log before and finally actually i've discovered what those pots of gold are that are all littered uh, around the world uh, you may remember a few episodes ago just after the update number two patch we noticed that there were these rainbows um sort of reaching up into the sky and at the bottom of them were pots of gold and if you went and attacked, oh look there we go, it's these here and if you attack them little leprechauns come out and all the rest of it we're thinking what on earth is that all about? Well I did notice this right down the very bottom of my quest log here we go, mix, what is that, mix leprechauns or something anyway something to do with the calculator and he wants us to head to the Hall of Doom and speak with Mr. Mixplka that's the, that's got to be one of the strangest NPC names I've ever... Now, M-X-Y-Z-P-T-L-K. I wonder if it says something backwards. Hang on, click, click, click. No. Okay. So if anyone out there knows if there's any meaning uh, amongst that, I've uh, mix, mix, mixes a particular... All right, I give up. I don't know how you pronounce that. Anyway, obviously that's got something to do, I reckon anyway, with these pots of gold. So perhaps at some stage we'll take a look at that. We'll go to the Hall of Doom and pick that quest up and see if there's I mean it's I guess it's some sort of throw over from the St. Patrick's Day uh, quest line something like that not sure anyway let's have a look at our mini map or rather our big map and see where we need to go in order to hit up this um, CSA Wonder Woman quest and oh yeah okay you may not be able to see it up there nice small area just up near the Star Labs to the northwest of us uh, in Metropolis Northwest Metropolis that's where we need to head so it's a little bit little bit of a distance although we're already halfway there would have been quicker accessing it from the Chinatown nightclub but never mind um, and it looks like we are gonna here yeah, I recognize that architecture that is definitely the tomorrow district and I'm pretty sure if we have a look at our quest log uh, blah, 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 free the blah, 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 blah. yep okay there we go tomorrow district so we are definitely heading in the right direction of course been a while since we've flown around over here and yes, we're getting a little bit of jittery lag as we fly over the city, but to be honest, um, that always seems to be the case when you fly over the city, especially at super speed, and I'm guessing that it's because there's a whole bunch of uh, detail, models, textures, and all the rest of it that keep popping in, um, 
and unless you've got some kind of uber supercomputer, or even then, you know what, I'm pretty sure it's still going to uh, be a bit jittery just because of the fact that there's so much loading in all at once. Just the way the textures stream in, I guess. Anyway, the there we go. The defied me, their rightful goddess, to follow Wonder Woman. Oh, as punishment, I have kidnapped Wonder Girl and given her to Giganta. Once Giganta's mind inhabits Wonder Girl's body, then we'll see who the Amazons truly love the most. Punish them all for daring to interfere. Alright, so you heard CSA, we've got to break Amazon crates and steal weapons, which is just what we've done right there. And say that they are the weapons. Um, release CSA's bestia morphs, 0 out of 10, and we also have to defeat Amazon. So, of course, last time we played this, we were on the hero side, and in fact, we are mentored by Wonder Woman over on Blaze Purple, so these people were most definitely our friends. In this case, not so much. Oh, look at that! Now, that's very cool. It was actually a animation when we used that object. There we go. So we've released one of CSA's bestia morphs. Um, yeah, I've never... I don't remember the, la the last time I actually saw a really cool animation like that when we used something. That's very cool. Whoa! She certainly knocked us back. That's very cool armor. Let's um, take a risk here and just stop attacking for a, mo a moment, just so we can have a close look at her armor. Very cool. Some of the designs in this game are just fantastic. And yes, I know, of course, that a lot of them are taken directly from the DCU comics, um, because, of course, that would make sense. But still, it doesn't um, belittle the fact that they are very cool. And, of course, that they've been accurately reproduced in the game. Very nice. Oh, look at that over there. We have a nice green collectible. Yay! Yay us. Let's pick that up while we're up here. The carving on this horn is likely self-inflicted. And once again, of course, it's been a while since we've been over this part of town. Very cool looking. So much work and effort has gone into the crafting of the world, the crafting of Metropolis and Gotham City. Each with their own separate feel and each um, like having the zones within those cities feeling so different to each other. So well done. I will smash Amazon. Like I keep saying, I just wish there were more people running around because it's a very cool world. But look, don't um, don't take all my uh, comments as criticism about that. I mean, it's just like any MMO. You know, there's a peak period, and unless it's an exceptionally lucky or good MMO, you're going to get a roll off of people after the you know first two or three months, which of course is what has happened here. But it doesn't mean for one second that the game isn't fun in terms of solo leveling through and playing it almost as a single player game. Uh, and of course that's what these Let's Play series are all about, in this case especially on our villain, because we're not going to be, well I'd imagine we're not going to be able to do much stuff in terms of alerts and queuing for dungeons etc because there's just simply not enough people around to do it. Come on! That was weird, she completely ignored me! Hey, you! I'm attacking you! Yeah, that's right. Um, but having said that, what I will be doing uh, is... Outside of filming, so when we're not filming, in other words, uh, I will actually be trying to queue for some events. And if any of them do pop, of course, we'll film them. So hopefully, I'll be proven wrong, and then some alerts or PvP arena events or something like that may well indeed pop behind the scenes. So who knows? Because that's definitely one thing I can say, that that whilst there's a lot of content for soloing, which is obvious by the amount of stuff we're doing at the moment, um, there is like a whole another half of the game uh, 
whoops, a uh, whole another half of the game around things like arenas and the PvP and the alerts, which are the instances, and of course all the high-end level 30 stuff, the raids, all things which we, we haven't really explored too much. I mean, we've done a few alerts on Blaze Purple, but of course that was back in the day when there were lots of people around and queues were popping. So at least you have seen some of those. Alright, what are we up to? We've got, um, we're going to be four, four of CSA's Bestia Morphs out of ten. There we go, four of ten. We've defeated eleven out of thirty of her Amazons, or rather of Wonder Woman's Amazons. Uh, and nineteen of twenty crates. it has got one more set of crates. Those ones over there will do nicely, I see. And there we go, right here. Let's concentrate on the Amazons now, and of course on freeing the Bestia Morphs. The Amazons will These guys really know how to knock me around. Goodness me. Alright, here's a Bestia Morph we can free. Not before taking out the guards, of course. Very cool animation, that. I wonder if that's the same for all usable objects now. I'm honestly not sure. Is that little one there where we use the Beastie Morph, that also has its own animation. I did notice when I logged in today, there was a... Oh, it must have been about an 8 megabyte patch. Perhaps one of the things they added was some animations for using items. Who knows? Guess we'll find out as we use other things in the game further on. But if that is the case, that's a welcome addition. Just something a bit more interesting. Now let's give them a sticky bomb. We haven't used one of those for a while. Keep forgetting about that. Because we're not worrying too much about our survival at the moment because these guys are only level 11 and once again that's okay I know it's low level but it's definitely uh, something that we need to do because it's a quest, quest line rather that we'll miss out on if we don't and just because it's a little bit easy for us certainly doesn't make it any less fun and in fact when it's me you're talking about it makes it a lot more fun because I don't die yes anyway now there's another interesting thing there, I'm not sure if you can see on the screen, it says 5 minutes until the Ring War PvP event. You know what, in my whole time within DCUO, right from uh, launch day, or in fact right from beta days, pre-launch, uh, up until now, I've never actually participated in, this, in one of these PvP uh, events. War, visit the War Coordinator outside the Midtown nightclub for more information. I've never actually done it, although... Once again, I'd imagine with the populations at the way they are at the moment, it wouldn't be too much of a big event. In fact, I'm not even sure if it would start because I can't imagine there being any players to actually participate in it. Maybe one day we'll have to go queue up for it and see what happens. Just Maybe I'll be proven wrong. Maybe there's a whole bunch of players that come out of the woodwork just for those PvP events. Who knows? Right, so there we go. 8 of 10 of CSA's Bestia Morphs and we've got 25 of 30. Right, these guys are going to be a little bit tougher so let's break out the old battle droid once I'm unstunned. There we go. Twenty-seven of thirty of those. Two more Bestia Morphs to break out. And look at that, totally took them out completely by range. Well, that was interesting. I lassoed the usable object. <laughs> Not sure that that did much, but anyway. Very cool animation. I really do like that. All right, second to last Bestia Morph here. Done. One more. These ones will do. Sister, 
And yes, still absolutely adoring the combat of this bow slash gadget wielding character that we've built. Still heaps and heaps of fun, a lot different than other MMOs. There we go. Power of an Amazon princess, and Cersei plans to give it to her. Sounds like a large undertaking. Huh. Oh, pardon the pun calculator. He said, sorry, I was talking over that. That Giganta has always wanted to have the power of an Amazon princess, and CSA's plans to give it to her sounds like a large undertaking. Yeah, very funny, Giganta, large. I get it, I get it. Okay, so we've done that, and what do we get? We get some headgear by the looks of things. Yes, a head item. It's a style that we've not collected. And what does it give us? Some extra health, extra might. Hmm. That's kind of six or one, half a dozen of the other. I'm not sure if we want to use that just now. Anyone who refuses to serve me is dumber than a beast. Ah, uh, oh, there's an idea. Seek out General Minos. He has something that will suit this situation perfectly. Well, that we do. There we go, General Take Minos. And transform Amazons into bestiomorphs for Cersei. All right, so we have to revive Foolish fallen Amazons bestiomorphs where bands of Achilles. and transform them into bestiomorphs. Sounds a bit nasty, and we also have to steal bands of Achilles, which no doubt will probably drop from these guys. All right, so it looks like we're going to have to transform these the people. Oh, look, another that animation. Rosy old elixir releases the beast within. The more beautiful the soul, the uglier the beast. A suitable punishment for these defiant Amazons. Well, that's definitely a nasty Resist punishment there. You. We're transforming these wonderful looking Amazons into ugly bestiomorphs. And of course, we're reviving these ones as well. Is it just me, or does a mob like that remind me of the enemies in Duke Nukem? Seriously, they're Duke Nukem as in Duke Nukem 3D. You know, the pig enemies? Yeah. I keep meaning to say that. It keeps reminding me of them. Speaking of which, sad to see, of course, that that got delayed again. Will Duke Nukem ever come out? Who knows? No! Very cool summoning effects, very cool particle effects. Look at that. The textures going on there for those. I mean, it's, it's look at all the work that's gone into that. Very awesome. All right, so f we've got, what, three of ten fallen, fallen bestiomorphs, if I can talk properly, and four of twenty Amazonians transformed. Let's up that count right now. What is this vile concoction? Oh! Will... Resist you. Uh. Yeah, very cool effects. Love it a lot. Well, I wonder if we can actually transform one of these spear maidens. Oh, you know what? It looks like we can. Of course, I'm going to get interrupted. That was silly. Let's clear out the area first. <laughs> no matter how many times I try, it's just going to not happen, is it? Actually, you know what? You won't resist me. That's right. Will resist you. Uh. Wow, knocked that one out very fast. Alright, so what's our count we've got? Let's see, 6 of 10 fallen bestiomorphs and 12 of 20 Amazonians transformed into bestiomorphs. Will resist! 
Just you. And look at that. A collectible waiting there patiently to be picked up by us. Thank you very much. It is not uncommon for them to engrave symbols of their conquests onto tusks and fangs. No! What is this vile concoction? Oh! Treacherous villain! And look at that, a Gauss Grenade, which basically finished them all off. Loving that ability. Loving the fact that it has a, such a small cooldown. Resist, you! Uh, what is this vile concoction? Uh. Alright, now what do we got to do? We've got one more, one more Amazon to transform. And that, that, that is done. Oh, tongue-tied today. And we've got 11 out of, no, 12 out of 15 of the no! steel of the bands oh, of Achilles. Really cute. Gigantus says the ritual is almost ready. Have fun storming the castle. So before we carry on with that quest, let's pick up the rest of these bands. 13 out of 15. Just need a couple more. Not sure if all of them actually carry one. Might be a bit of a random drop. There's one. No, yes, there's one. Yeah, yeah, so it is random. Not everyone carries one. One more to go. And there we go, all done. Let's get ourselves out of harm's way. Maybe over to this cafe here. It'll do nicely. All right, so J for journal. Steal the bands, give ourselves some soda cola. Always can do with that. And here we go, the main storyline quest. Create bestiomorphs to serve a CSA. All done. My bestiomorphs have erected Sisyphean stones outside the station to create a magical ward. But the Amazons have corrupted them. It's affecting Giganta's ritual inside. Stop the Amazons and destroy those stones. Well, you heard her. We have to absorb Amazon soul shards. We've got to eliminate Anim Amazon forces. 25 of them, in fact, and destroy the Sisyphean stones. Five of them to destroy in this area. Let's have a look at the map. All right. Let's get to it. Oh, and look at that straight away. There's a collectible. That'll do nicely. This thing could aid the Sentinels of Magic's restorative application. All right, that was nice and easy. But look at this app. Look at this. It's just oh, it's so cool around here. All the rubble, the atmosphere, the sounds, the music. Once again, so much work gone into the creation of this world. Such a shame to see it half empty, to be honest. But still a whole bunch of fun. You know, someone was talking to me the other day and said, hey, what game is this like in terms of the combat? And I think I said to them, well, look, you know what? I don't know if you've ever played Darksiders before or a game like um, Just Cause, something like that. The combat feels very similar to uh, Darksiders or Prototype. In fact, DCU seems to be a nice sort of blend of something like Darksiders and Prototype. That very visceral action-based combat, lots and lots of fun. I must say it is a bit strange to be beating up Wonder Woman's uh, crew after being so loyal to them, of course, on Blaze Purple. Sorry about that, folks. We love you still, but just not on this character. Come on, why? Wow. Okay, that was a huge lag. You probably heard me clicking away on my ranged ability there and nothing was happening. Oh well. 
We survived, that's the main thing. Whoa, who is that? That looks like a world boss to me. Enchanted statue. That is definitely a world boss. Let's see how hard he hits. Why the hell not? Whoa, he hits very hard. Let's get the heck out of here. We're gonna die. Yikes. Hey, it was worth a crack, right? Just testing. Hopefully he hasn't followed us. No, good stuff. Wow, okay, so that's interesting. Breaking that stone first actually pushes back all the other mobs. Didn't know that. Handy to know. Let's try that again for the next one. Alright, let's see if we can target the stone again. Give it a nice long draw. And yes, very nice. Oh, I wish I'd figured that out earlier. There you go. Whoops, getting dangerously close to that world boss there, which we did not want to do. Just keeping my distance there, folks, using my ranged weapon totally, just to keep away from the big glowy shiny boss thing. There you go, have a sticky grenade, that's right. It's a special present for you. Alright. 15 of 25 of those stones and we got 20 out of 25 of the Amazonians themselves. Let's find some more to cause havoc with. There we go. Oh, now, you know what? Being in this area reminds me a whole bunch of Another superhero game that I used to play a lot of back in the day called City of Heroes or City of Villains, same game. One thing I've wanting, been wanting to do for a while is hop back in there and check out what it's like. I did enjoy that game, it just got a bit boring because you did the same things over and over and over again. Robbing the same bank, doing the same missions. But it was an enjoyable game, especially in its, back in its day, it's quite old now. Here's a question for you guys, any of you still playing it? And again, this is not Champions Online that I'm talking about. Oops, let's get our battle bot out because we need a bit of a hand. Um, not Champions Online, I'm talking about um, City of Heroes, City of Villains. If anyone out there is still playing it, let me know in the comments below. Be very keen to know if it's still alive, still going well, and if it's changed much in the last couple of years. It definitely was a whole lot of fun. Alright, there we go, all done. Just in time to wrap up this episode. Let's finish off the stragglers. Using a gauss grenade there just to clean it up for, for once and for all. Out of harm's way, open our quest journal, see what's going on. Uh, what are we going to get? Some gauntlets there, which give us some defense and some health and some might. Actually, you know what? I think we're going to take those ones. That gigantic greedy fool! She is toying with my ritual, hoping to gain more power. She will only succeed in giving Wonder Girl more of her own. You must salvage this situation. We cannot give the Amazons yet another weapon against us. All right. Looks like we have to, yeah, looks like the next quest is in fact a storyline instance, defeat Wonder Girl and speak to Giganta. I'm not sure I've actually come across Wonder Girl in the game before, certainly come across Wonder Woman of course, but uh, not Wonder Girl, interesting. Anyway, let's pick up this investigation, more importantly. Metro Transit. 
current transit time is four minutes. Don't drown in traffic. Ride the rail whale. Right, so I see somewhere around here we've got a quest. Hopefully it's for the story instance. Cersei wants Mirror of Narcissus. Amazon leader hunts. You go and Yep, steal the Mirror of Narcissus from Amazon Pen Penachos. Penachos Io, I think, inside the metro station. So that's absolutely a storyline quest mission. And there we go. Yep, right outside the metro station building. So that's what we've got to look forward to in the next episode is the storyline instance there heading into... Who are we going to get? I've forgotten already. I think it's Giganta. No, Wonder Girl and speak to Gigantus. So hopefully you'll join me then. And of course, hopefully you enjoyed this episode. Until then, take care. Having Hope you're having a great day and we'll see you then. Bye-bye.